Moving over to our spotlight matchup, we are staying in college basketball. We are looking at number five, Baylor, who is 15 and 2, 3 and 2 in conference play, who will take a trip to West Virginia, taking on the Mountaineers, who are 13 and 3, 2 and 2 in conference play. Welcome to Big 12 Tuesday, apparently. I love it. Uh, right now, Baylor is the six and a half point favorite with a total at 138 and a half. Baylor has had a slight fall from grace uh, and their number one spot in the rankings after dropping their last two games and also their first two losses of the season at home, no less, against number 19 Texas Tech and Oklahoma State. While they now sit at fifth, they will look to extend their perfect and five-game road streak win. The Mountaineers have also dropped two of their last five. One was to a then number 17 Texas and most recently in their last game to number nine Kansas. West Virginia has picked up one win over a ranked opponent, and that came on December 8th against a then number 15 UConn. Okay, Arky, the spread is shockingly less than our game of the day, which is surprising to me. But how will you be playing this one tonight from Morgantown, West Virginia? Well, first of all, let's love on Bob Huggins and his track suits a little bit. Love Bob. Love Bob. Let's send uh, him a little love because this team is horrible offensively. (laughs) Awful despicably bad offensively. So the way this team wins is obviously being pretty darn good defensively. And that's sort of a a Bob Huggins trademark is they love to pressure, they love to trap, they love to make things really difficult on their opponents that way. Because offensively, if I get the numbers right, uh, uh, like in the 250s when it comes to shooting, 300s in the 253rd in shooting, uh, 286th in... uh, in, um, uh, uh, field goal percentage and 300th in uh, free throw percentage. I don't know how you get 300th in free throw percentage. There's no <laughs> one guarding you. Uh, so anyway, they're a bad, bad offensive team. But tonight it's going to be about defense, as I think again. And Baylor's got themselves a pretty good defense uh, as well. Now Baylor's lost two in a row, and they haven't lost three straight games since March of 2019. So it's wow. been a while since they've been sort of. This cold, but they played a couple of good opponents, and West Virginia, despite being really bad offensively, is a pretty solid, strong opponent. Usually, year in and year out, you get that from a Bob Huggins team. Anyway, I think this game is a great game also for us to learn some names of guys we haven't paid attention to a lot this season. Like, uh, we haven't talked much about James Akinjo, who is uh, hopefully going to play tonight. He's the leading scorer for, for Baylor. Now, and you may remember in the pregame or the pre-show stuff, I had two bets on this game. I took one off because James yeah. Akinjo is going to be a game-time decision for Baylor. And that sort of scares me uh, right now if I'm Baylor. So I took off the spread and I got the total coming up uh, in, in just a second. Uh, but you're going to look at uh, Baylor dealing with uh, guys like Chan Chachua, who, who is averaging 8-8. Eight and eight. He's the uh, leading rebounder uh, on the team. They're going to be missing Jeremy Shohan, by the way. It looks like he'll be a game-time decision, too. Uh, but he's another uh, efficient scorer uh, for them as well. Like, I think you are seriously, seriously flawed if you're thinking Baylor can cover the 6.5 if James Akinjo doesn't play. So you got to bank on James Akinjo being able to play tonight. I don't know that right now, so I'm going to wait a little bit longer to find out before I play the 6.5 because Baylor is 2-1 and one on the road as a 6.5 plus point favorite. But... I will take the under 138 and a half for tonight. So I feel pretty good. Okay. That this game is really defensive. I think West Virginia is going to pressure a lot. I like the under tonight, but I'm going to wait before I look at the six and a half because I, I, if there's no James Akinjo tonight, I think he's going to try to tough it out. I don't know how he can love on Baylor tonight to be able to cover that kind of number. They can still win, but covering that number is going to be tough. Two things. Can you repeat all of those names again? Uh, which uh, Chamwa Chachua? Uh, you can look at Chamwa Chachua, uh, who's, a, who's a big forward for them. Um, uh, well uh, done. Bring up West Better West you than has, me. West Virginia has a player named Gabe uh, Gabe uh, Osabuyan, uh, who is uh, who's pretty good. You'll hear probably hear a lot from tonight too. So yeah, so there's there's a few names there. That, look, Baylor's pretty cool because Baylor's got like an all world type roster. Like uh, show hands from uh, uh, from from England. Uh, wow. uh, uh, Chamwa Chachua, I think, is from Cameroon. They have a kid named Flo Bamba, who I think is from the Congo. Um, and James Akinjo, he's from uh, Oakland, the country of Oakland. So, um, yeah, like they, they have a pretty all-worldly roster. All came to Waco, Texas. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, question number two. How many dress shirts do we think that Bob Huggins goes through in a season? Like, uh, just destroys. Oh, uh, dress shirts? Dress shirts. 
Yeah, zero. I don't think he owns any dress shirts. Well, isn't he the one that sweats through his shirts, or am I thinking of someone else? Oh, no, no. He's, he's more of a tracksuit kind of guy. Yeah, yeah. He's, okay. Uh, Who am I yeah, thinking like, of? I don't know. All right. Disregard. Okay. Uh, yes. By all accounts, this should be a layup for Baylor. No pun intended, but also pun intended. Uh, and no disrespect to the Mountaineers, even though they have only faced three ranked opponents this season and have gone two and one in those games, I just think they are the better basketball team. They are averaging, averaging Arky, nearly 80 points a game compared to West Virginia, 69 points a game. And West Virginia didn't just lose to Kansas. They took a beating by a difference of 26 points. And that was to the ninth ranked team in the country when they now have the fifth ranked team coming in tonight. I could be totally wrong here, but that's just how I feel. The Bears have covered in nine of their 17 games so far this season and have combined for this total in 12. Uh, the Mountaineers are nine and seven against the spread and have hit this total of 138 and a half in five of their 16 games so far. I don't know what else there is to say here. I am not waiting to see who's in and out tonight. I'm just going to be taking Baylor at minus six and a half regardless. So that's where I'm heading to this one. Yeah, I mean, Baylor's probably a better top-to-bottom team. Baylor 20th in the country in points allowed per game. But Bob Huggins is 39th in, 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 in points allowed per game. They're both pretty good defensive teams. But there's a chance. If there's one team going to get loose on the other, it's probably Baylor.